You're not gonna take a picture of me. I need to see your. You're ID. a public servant. Yeah, sir. I need to see your ID. I, I would love to talk to somebody that that oh, would, me. has you, a you different attitude. Hello. How you doing? I got uh remember the whole writing tickets for the truck, the use of truck parking and stuff. I got somebody over there want to talk to you. over at, at Walmart because you feel like he shouldn't get a ticket for being parked. I never said that, no sir. No truck or trailer parking, so he wanted to speak to another supervisor. I never said I should. I asked you. I appreciate it. Boy, I wish okay. that body cam was on at the beginning. I'm gonna bring another supervisor over here so he can tell you the exact same thing. And he gonna tell you you're forcing it because I warned you first. I wasn't gonna write you. You didn't warn me. You just asked, is your truck down there? And I said, yes. We're is done. there a problem? And then you said, back up, we'll so, see. So basically what I should've did was just wait till you went in and just came out and wrote you a ticket. You can do what you want. You're doing your job. But when I asked, is there a problem and you say back up and you close the window in my face without answering me and then you go zero to a hundred over here that's not what happened. it is what happened that's and your happened. body cam I wasn't on you, sir that's, that's not what happened i asked you is this your vehicle you, i'm not even gonna go over anymore go ahead we're i'll done. talk to we're your done. supervisor that's sir fine. not that's a problem Then you want to go hands-on with free speech. And I know there was another truck here because of the buggy that, with, with that, cartons that, in it. Because what? Guess what? I brought another truck to take you to. That's so, fine. So you worried about other vehicles, right? It don't have anything to do with you. Then let me ask you this, sir. When I'm not truck, answering no more questions when for trucks you. are here at this Walmart, where do we park the shop? Way. Another supervisor on the way, you talk to him. That's what you want. Okay. I'm asking you because you're obviously doing security for Walmart. If trucks are here, where do we park so we can go in and shop? That's what you should ask me about. That's what you should ask me about. I asked. And guess what? I asked. And guess what? But these are before you, when I came out there and I, I told him you can't park there, sir. If you don't, I have to write you a ticket. He said, okay, where should we park? And I told him where he should go for it. And he went for it. And guess what? He didn't get he didn't receive I, I did basically the same thing. No, you did. You definitely didn't do the same thing. You definitely didn't do the same thing. Wow. D Bell. What's your badge number, sir? It's on your ticket. One zero zero two. Okay. I mean, I'm the nicest guy in the world. If you would have just answered me over there, we wouldn't have even been over here. I don't have to because I would. If, if you, you would have said, you, if you didn't illegally park, we wouldn't even have this conversation. I'm not. I, I could care less about a ticket. Okay. The thing is, if you would have been more cordial over there, more I would have cordial. said that's fine. I didn't I, have to I stop you until, and ask you to move. I didn't have to do that. No, you didn't. Okay. But when I asked you, because you, you, initi me you initiated you told, the conversation. You told me I'm not on duty. No, I asked you if you were on duty. Because if you look at the car, it's what not mean, a What me being on duty having to do with you illegally? You being illegally parked. So if it was a Walmart worker and they told you to move, you would have moved it? If anybody would have told me to move, I would have moved. So you why, didn't so ask me it, to move. So why should it matter if I'm on duty or not? You didn't ask me to move. Man, we done. It's, it's another supervisor on the way. Good. 
I'll, I'll let them know how you acted here, and sir. We, I we mean, we're gonna see. And you let them know what you said to me too. You let them know. Yeah, what you I'll, said let, to I'll me. let them know that I called you a dick. It's it's not it's not calling we, we, calling we, we a done, cop a dick done, is not bad. It's a we, First Amendment we, right. We done talk. Be on the way. It's called free speech. Yeah, we done talk. But again, I ask you, because right, I'm in here once a week. Continue to be rude. That's fine. What do you got to talk about? I called you a supervisor. Hey, we're going to be right on the board side, uh, when you when you first come in. All right. Is he a sergeant or above? Yes. Okay. Tell you again, you can go back over there where you are. We're having a private conversation. Appreciate it. I mean, private would be in your okay, vehicle. We're having a private conversation. We can have a private conversation out here. Now, you know what? Are you a sergeant, you know sir? What? You know what? Come here. I'm going to tell you something. Come on over here. I got something. Do you want to? There you go. Sit back there. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Report PD, y'all. This is a lawsuit waiting to happen. <sighs> Qualified immunity is going to be going away. He already wrote me a ticket. Can, can I? It's hot in here. Can I come I, out? I, I just turned down for you. You because driving? right now I'm being detained yeah. inside a vehicle yeah, and I haven't done anything. Where is your identification? Do I did I do anything to that? Hey, I need to produce listen, it. Listen. Are you a sergeant or a boss, sir? Let me ask you this. Let me ask you one more time. Can I, Can you please get me a sergeant out here, please? Let me ask you one more time. Where's your identification? If not, I know you can get a resistance. 
What have I done to require to be ID? You can ask, but I haven't done anything where I need to produce it. It wouldn't be a resisting charge because of, because ID, that's a secondary charge, sir. What's his name and what's your date of birth? That's a secondary charge, okay, sir. So don't worry about it. I just take it to jail. Yeah. I just take it to jail for resistance. I haven't. I, okay, well, you No, sir. Not too bad yourself. Who are you? I'm Sergeant Conan. Nice to meet you, sir. Can I come out and have a conversation with you? Uh, well, you can if you let me get if you give me your ID so I, we can know who you are. I haven't I haven't done anything to, pro, to in order for me to provide ID. Is this your truck right now? Yes, it is, and he already wrote me a ticket. Okay, so. Uh, Which I'm not disputing the ticket at all. It was. The reason I wanted a supervisor out here is because of the way the gentleman act. Okay, but you know we have a right to ask you for your ID, right? You have a right to ask, and I have a right to refuse if I haven't done anything that requires me to identify myself. Yeah, right here. It's truck called, it's I already have the ticket, sir. Well, I mean, we still can. We still have. I mean, we still can have to. You know. Can I? Can ID. I come? Out, can I step out and talk to you? Can sir? you give me your ID? You can step out. I would love for you to step out. Yeah. I mean, I haven't done anything that requires me to ID. He already wrote me the ticket. The ticket. That's in my a violation back pocket. right there. Yes, it is, and he already wrote me the ticket, which I'm I'm fine with. He could have asked you for it then. What? Was you gonna refuse to give it to him then? A what? I said he could have asked you for your ID then. Was you gonna refuse to give him your ID then? When he when I came back out, he was done writing What's your the name, ticket. Sir? I'll give you my first name because I'm not obligated to give you my ID at this point. Okay. Yes, you do. You do. You have a right to give it to me if we ask for it. That don't that's mean you. That don't mean you that's under completely arrest. Completely wrong, sir. But you being detained now, so we, now we can identify. We need to identify who you are. I'm illegally detained because I haven't done anything in order to be placed in here. You're not gonna let me get. You're not gonna let me see it. I I have no reason to ID, and I have no obligation to ID myself because I haven't done anything. So are you saying you're not gonna give me your ID? Let I me already have the ticket, sir. Okay, so listen. Whatever your name is, sir, John Doe, you have a right to remain silent. You give up that right. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Okay. You have a right to attorney if you cannot afford one. Won't be a point um, to you. Can I get the By name the of this I, this officer here? We're gonna give you we're gonna give you our information as soon as you give us yours. If you're not, you're gonna you're gonna be John Doe. So it's up to you. I haven't done anything. To, can I get a, somebody that's hired well, you? Well, sir? let me let me ask you this here. Yes, you can. But okay. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. I'm gonna place you under arrest for resistance. 
Resisting of what? Resisting of identifying yourself. That's a secondary charge, sir. Okay, so I'm, I'm so what are you gonna do what, what I ask you to do? You either gonna do what I ask you to do or you're not. If you're not, I have I read no you your right I have, I'm through answering your question. I have I anymore. have no obligation to ID myself. Yes you do. I do not. I already have the ticket in my back pocket. Okay, well you still have a right to identify yourself. To this is not a stop and ID state being, and this is not Germany. You're being detained right now. I'm being illegally detained based off the actions of your officers. Okay. Right. Because they didn't want me to listen in on the conversation between A and B. So now we got an illegal arrest and an, Ill an illegal detainment. Completely ridiculous. <laughs> I've heard about Shreveport PD, but I never really believed it because I never had a problem here in Shreveport. <clears throat> Property because this is a Walmart parking lot. Before you about later, really, that's it. It's up This is call number P220 18 I'm sorry P220 81861 And the call is for citizen assistance a P70 
Oh, well, because I asked the question. Yes, sir. I noticed that you're a veteran. Yes, I am. And I need you to cooperate with me because I do not want to take you I've to been jail. A, I've been cooperating Listen, and got into I, the law. I do not want to take you to jail. I do not. But I'm going to tell you right now, when I leave, I'm going to have this officer to take you into custody. For, in a, for, uh, for, is there a supervisor hiring you coming out? Okay. coming, but I'm going to tell you what. Because I will identify to him if required. Hmm? I will I will identify him if required, but I would like to have a cordial conversation with somebody that that is willing to have a cordial conversation, because Officer One didn't want to have a conversation, and Number Two didn't want to have a conversation. Basically, all these you guys, you two are here because I asked him to contact the supervisor based off his actions. So you you saying that? It, I mean, I don't know what happened, but you so you saying that? You see that sign right there? Yes, I do. I'm here once a week. I All understand, right. I understand, but the city is hidden, hidden, hidden you truckers bad. And I don't agree with it, but they they, they nailing y'all for, for this kind of parking right here. Yep. All over the city. Not that you all over the city. So I'm telling you right now, when the lieutenant come out here, yep. he gonna tell you the same thing. That, that, and that's, I don't even I, I I I don't dispute that, sir. Okay, I mean so I mean but I, I don't dispute that. I it, it's the officer's actions because when up front he goes, did you park down there? I said, yes, I did. Is there a problem with it? And he goes, back up. We'll see. We'll see. Back up. And I, I he was closing his window in front of me, and I, I mean, if he would have said, well, I'm going to give you a ticket. That's fine. Where can I park? That way I can do my shopping. That, that's all it was coming down to, but then, I mean, it went to an attitude right away, and that's why I wanted a supervisor out here, sir. Okay. I mean, I'm not, I'm, I, I'm not disputing the ticket. But I'm willing even, to pay even, the ticket. Even, even now that I'm here, you still don't want to identify yourself. I, I have no reason and to I, identify. I, I already have the ticket. Now you do. You, now you have a right, you have to identify, because you're being detained. I can, I can be now. Listen, before when you was outside of this car, before you didn't have to identify yourself. Once we detain you and put you in this I got car, the, now at I'll the, let you uh, finish. I'm, 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 I'll let you finish. I'm telling you, I'm, 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 I'm explaining to you your civil rights. Once we detain you and put you in this car, you we got we gonna identify you one way or the other. You gonna either go in as John Doe and you come out with your real name, but you don't need your real name to go into jail. You're gonna need it to come out. So you gonna right. refuse under, me under under threat of arrest lieutenant. with the lieutenant, I will identify to him. But I want to talk to an officer about the way this officer and this officer conducted themselves. Oh. I'm not disputing anything that happened here. I I, I just it, it started out I wanted I wanted military. a supervisor. You've been in a, you, you've been yes, in I have. You've been, you, you're a veteran. That you're has a nothing to do with what's yes, going on here. It, what's going on? What, what it has to do with is how those officers created their space. They needed their space. They feel like you was walking up on them. So however that happened, and he got his body cam on. I was walking up to listen to the conversation. They well, said you, it's you private. I mean, they don't have to. You don't. You ain't got to listen to no conversation. They don't have to let you listen to their conversation. I mean, if you want to have a private conversation, you, you got to create the privacy. When they asked you to step back, they was trying to create their privacy. Don't you think? Wouldn't you think that? When and they, they stepped, and, and, when, and they don't know you from John, they when, have a right to tell you to step back. When they said step back, I was trying to explain something, and this officer that drives this unit, whoever he is, took my arm and put me in here. Okay. All right. Well. The lieutenant is on his way. Thank you, sir. And I'll tell you right now, 
I, I understand. It's going to be, it's going to I'm, be I'm not. I'm not disputing this. It, it, it was. I wanted a supervisor to handle this off the way this officer conducted well, himself. I, well, look, I can't because I'm a thug. You're a thug, just like me. He got his body cam on. I got my body cam on. He turned his body cam on after he took my arm, put it behind my back, and put me up against the truck, sir. Then he turned his body camera on. No, that, that Nothing in front of the store or not even. even not true. Hey, well, listen, listen. You are not going. Yes, not. it is, sir, because you turned it on right here in front of the truck. Been lying ever since you came back over here. No, no, I haven't. We just won't let you. I ha I'm, not, I'm not disputing a ticket, okay, sir. We're not disputing a ticket, but how many times we ask you for your identification? I don't need to ID okay, myself. Okay, so you're disputing the identification. We we passed the ticket. We asked you. I asked you for your ID. This sergeant asked you for your ID, and the sergeant that we called out here asked you. Putting for me ID. back in back of a squad car does not. It, 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 uh, create a purpose for an ID because you created that purpose. I walked up safety. once and he said, back up, and then he came up, grabbed my arm, and put me in here. And we can ask you for your ID. You safety, you guys yourself. have the guns and tasers and the mace. I, what do I have? Nothing. You go, I'm going to tell you what you're going to end up 